Hello everyone. Uh, this video topic is outlier. Uh, dealing with outlier is important in data analysis. So in this lecture, we'll look at uh, detecting outlier. First, we'll look at the definition of outlier. And, you know, there are many methods to detect outliers. In this class, uh, I will introduce the two methods, that is G-score and Tukufensis, um, that are uh, easy to understand and frequently used. The first outlier detecting method is to use the G-score. Okay? Uh, first, uh, we look at the definition of G-score. G-score is the number with the deviation of the data and divided by the standard deviation. Okay. Uh, the formula is like this. You know, the uh, numerator is deviation and denominator is standard deviation okay for example if you have numerical data one two three four five okay and I denote the element small x1 small x2, small x3, small x4, small x5. Uh, so we can calculate the sample mean and sample standard deviation in data. Sample mean x per is sigma i equal 1 to 5 xi divided Okay, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Five. So we can get the sample mean equals 3. And the uh, sample standard deviation or equal as x is square root um, deviation square and divide 4 minus 1 okay, you know and Plus equal I did for so the sample standard deviation is 1.5a okay after getting the sample mean and sample standard deviation and we can calculate the g-score that is the first observation g-score that is z1 equal uh, x1 minus 3 divided 1.5a minus 1.26 okay z2 x2 
x2 minus 3, 1.58. Go. Minus 0 0.63. G3 is go. 0. Close zero point six three D five equal plus one point two six. So uh, in data, the G score are like this. Okay, and the D G score has the following two characteristics. Uh, the average of G score is always zero. Okay, um, it can be proved as follow. The average of this score is that is uh, ziva equal ci divided uh, small m. Okay, so we can express like this. And the numerator is okay, and you know the sum of the division is zero. Okay, so the average of this score is zero. And the second characteristic of this score is the variance of this score is always one. Okay, uh, this can be probably like this. Let's z square. Mm, n minus 1, the numerator is equal m square. Okay, and you know the z bar that is the mean of g score is 0. So the numerator is. Care okay, uh, and n minus one multiply you no know, z i equal n uh, z i score is square okay, I uh, am. One care and care, and you know this mean is your m minus one multiply sample variance. So, and minus square. So, I cancel, cancel, cancel out. Equal 
1. Okay. Therefore, uh, for any data value, the uh, average of G score that is 0 is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Okay. So the G score is called the standard score or normalized score. Okay. So the outlier using G score like this. If the G score is out of the defined the cutoff point, okay, then the data value is defined as outlier. Okay, uh, we usually the cutoff point is minus three comma three or minus two comma two. Um, this is called the outlier boundary in this core. This core, okay. So it, uh, this value is a lower boundary, and this is a upper boundary. Okay, uh, in particular, G score method is uh, appropriate when the data distribution is uh, unimodal and symmetric, that is, bell shape, like this. Okay, it is called the normal distribution. Uh, we'll cover later in the probability distribution part. Okay, that is, um, you have a data, numerical data, and uh, uh, you can draw the histogram. And the shape is a bell. Then you can use the G score to detect the outlier, like this. Lower boundary minus E, upper boundary plus E, and uh, less than minus two or greater than two, uh, it defines the outlier. Okay, let's find outliers using this core in example one. Okay, and um, we let the data value like this, small y1, small y2, 3, y4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, then step one is to find the mean and the variance of data. Okay, and we can we can calculate the standard deviation using the variance that is square root. You know, so the mean uh, we uh, denote the element like uh, a type of small y. So the mean is y bar, okay? y bar equal sigma i equal 1 and 11, y i divided 11. So, da 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 plus 11, okay? 40, 3, 5, 300, lab equal, and then 47.7, point 
0.9 and the sample variance that is scare is 11 divided 11 minus 1 okay so equal so this value is this the sample variance is seven thousand two hundred twenty two point two nine one that is very big, biggest value. Then the standard deviation, small x, y equal root 2, it's variance. So, can get the sample standard deviation is 84.9. 8, okay. So we can calculate we calculate the uh, sample bar uh, uh, sample mean that is y bar and uh, sample standard deviation. Step two is to calculate the j score using the uh, sample mean and sample standard deviation. J score is that z one or y one minus sample mean divided 84.98 that is okay g2 like this uh, y2 Okay, so um, we can also calculate G3 is minus 0 0.0 Z4 um, minus 0 0.2 Z5 A G6 Seven Okay, uh, so tab three is to set the cutoff point uh, to be outlier criterion. It is called the outlier boundary. I will set it to the outlier boundary is minus two comma two. Okay. Uh, step four to find outliers. So in step two, we calculate the G score like this. So the outlier is the 11 observation like this okay this is in the low data is sorry 100 value okay the second method to detect outlier is to keep pencils okay this is a method proposed by the Tactician John Tukey okay, to find outlier using 
intercotal lens for short IQR. Okay. Um, at this time, the outlier boundary is like this. That is uh, Q1 minus uh, K. K is constant. Multiply IQL comma Q3 plus K multiply IQL. Okay, this is a, a outlier boundary using the two K pounces. If the uh, K equal 1.5, uh, it defines the outlier boundary and or there are three uh, it depends the uh, extreme outlier boundary okay that is This is extreme outlier boundary. This boundary is the outlier boundary. Okay. In example one, uh, let's find the outlier using tech. Uh, Y1, Y2, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, step one is to calculate the quartile of data. Uh, to find the quartile, First, you should source the data like this. Sort. Value means the minimum value uh, that is three, and five, eight, four, ten, nineteen, twenty five. Forty six, three hundred. Okay, and Calder the range from zero to one. Okay, and uh, and we we'll find the point uh, where the data is divided into four equal part. That is Q one. And maybe Q2, Q3, okay, uh, equal per part. So Q1 equal uh, 11. And Q2, this is median, is 25. Q4 is 34. Okay. Um, you can calculate the quartile 
maybe using their R program and Excel okay and so on yeah. step 2 is to calculate the IQR you know the Q1 equal 11 to equal 15 Q3 equals sorry for then IQ1 interquartile end equal Q3 minus Q1 so 34 minus 11 that is 23 okay uh, and step 3 uh, is calculate outlier boundary given K okay we uh, I will use the K equal 1.25 so the outlier boundary is that is lower boundary Q1 minus 1.5 multiply IQR is Q1 is 11 minus multiply 23 equal minus uh, 23 minus 4 and the uh, Q uh, upper boundary is q3 plus 1.5 multiply iqr that is mm, 34 plus 1.5 multiply 23 equal uh, 68.5 that is the outlier boundary using the uh, two cap pencils is 23.5 comma 68.5 okay uh, then step 4 uh, find the outlier that is the uh, outlier is the value uh, outside the boundary is so the 300 no 300 is outlier Okay, uh, so far we have a look at two methods to detect outlier that is G score and two key pencils. Okay, um, after find the outliers and how to deal with these outliers? Okay. Outliers. Okay. In, uh, in general, uh, we uh, outlier are treated as missing value. missing value then we can uh, uh, remove it or replace it using imputation method okay and the status field Dealing with this, uh, uh, is called the missing uh, data analysis. Okay, so if you are interested in uh, tech missing data analysis course in Department of the Applied Statistics, in this course. If you find their missing value, we can only remove it. Okay.